Hi guys, this is Ashley. Um, I am vlogging my HCG journey and, <laughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, today is day one of loading days. So today is April 9th and 2016. And um, today I woke up and weighed myself and I was, I hate saying this, but um, I was 191.6, which is very heavy, especially, like I said in my old, or my vlog from the other day, I'm only 5'2", so 5'2", holding 191 pounds, that's a lot of weight for such a small build on a person, so... <clears throat> Anyways, that's why I am so excited to start this journey. Um, today is a Saturday, and um, so I thought it'd be perfect for me to load on the weekends because I am a teacher, and um, I can't just leave my job and go pick something up and come back. Um, it's just, it's not doable for me. So I am loading on um, my weekend. So I um, have this really cool scale that um, also tells me not only how much I weigh, but it also tells me my body fat, um, how much water percent I have in my body, and then also my BMI. So um, my body fat as of this morning was 39.2%. The um, the amount of water in my body was 44.5% and my BMI was 35.7%. So I'm glad I have that so now I can see what it's going to be like um, at the end of this round um, just so I can compare numbers. I had mentioned in my other vlog that I have done the HCG challenge before and technically this is my second round but I'm calling it my redo round or round one um, and I was looking at my stats from the first day I started back in on Halloween in 2015 and then my stats today and pretty much everything was exact. Um, the only thing that wasn't exact was my weight, I was three pounds heavier um, on my starting weight back on October 31st, 2015. So, um, but my body fat, my the amount of water in my body, my BMI, all of that was exactly the same. And all of my measurements were exactly the same. It's kind of funny. I mean, I literally went right back to what I was. So, um, yeah. It's just, it makes me so mad, but, you know, life happens, and um, I couldn't help me losing family members. That was nothing I could do about that. Um, I guess I could have controlled my eating habits and not have gone crazy, but I eat my emotions, and um, that's something I'm personally working on myself, and I think through this HCG challenge, um, it's going to help me along the way. So anyways, um, let me just tell you my measurements. My chest was 42 inches. My waist was 36 inches. My hips, 49 inches. I told you I have a wide hips and a big booty. And my right thigh was 28 inches. My left thigh was 29 and a half inches. I'm not really sure why one thigh is bigger than the other, but I've noticed that um, in my last round, it was the same thing. Um, and then my right arm was 14 inches, and then my left arm was also 14 inches. So um, I have my measurements. I'm going to measure myself again at the end and then just compare my numbers. Last time I did a round, I lost a total of 10 inches all over my body, which was really good. Um, I was happy with that. But the one thing I noticed was I lost, a, I lost a lot of my inches in my waist and my chest and a little off my arms, but my hips and my thighs didn't change much. And so 
I don't know if other people have experienced this, but um, I do the injections and in my last round, I did a lot of my injections in my, my belly area. And, um, and I noticed that really is where I saw the most results was in my belly area, which I was happy about, you know, nobody wants a big old belly sticking out, especially um, when you're a teacher because kids are very honest and uh, they just, they just tell you how it is. And so anyways, um, I'm getting sidetracked. What I'm trying to say is, um, have other people notice that like where they take their shots they lose more fat or is that just something I'm overthinking so um I did a few times my last round um do injections like in the fatty part of my thighs and um I saw very small results as far as inches lost there so this round I think I'm going to alternate my shots. I started um, this round giving me a shot on the right side of my belly, and then tomorrow I'll do the left side. And then I'm, after that, going to do my right thigh and then my left thigh, and then go back to my stomach. And I'm just going to alternate back and forth um, and see if I see more of a difference if um, by the end with my measurements. Um, so... Anyways, I'm um, starting the day off kind of good. Yesterday was one of my um, friend's birthdays. Well, actually, today's her birthday, but we went out yesterday after work, and I had two drinks and chips and queso, and I'm a sucker for bean and cheese tacos, so I also had two of those. And I, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm starting my round tomorrow. I don't even care. And, um... So yeah, I kind of lived it up, which, you know, I don't, I don't really feel that bad about. Um, but I also got some bad news about um, a job opportunity. And so that really like just put me down in the dumps. And I think that's why I ate as much as I did. And um, when I got home, I called my fiance and I just cried. I cried, 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 cried. And uh, I don't know. It's just, I went in, it was weird. It was like I, when I was crying, all I wanted to do was like eat something and that's not good. <laughs> so, um, anyways, long story short, I went to bed, fell asleep and I went to bed at like 8.35, 8.40, something like that. Um, and I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't sleep. So I woke up and I drank some water. I think I was dehydrated from the drinks. And um, I thought, well, am I going to take my shot now? Do I want to just start my day or do I want to go back to bed? So I drank some water. I sat on the couch. I think I watched like 30 minutes of television. I thought, you know what? It's too early for me to start my day. I'm going to go back to bed. And so I went back to bed and I woke up this morning at 8.45. And... Um, Woke up, weighed, took my shot, took my measurements, and then I went and got breakfast at Whataburger. And I got pancakes, and I got a sausage and egg and cheese, jalapeno biscuit, and hash browns, and a big Dr. Pepper. And so that's all I've had so far. I ate half of the pancakes and half of my sandwich, but I ate all of my hash browns. And I'm full. And now it's almost 12.30, so... um so we'll see what how lunch goes and lunch uh, dinner goes because I'm full. It was really hard to eat that. Um, so loading kind of scares me. Anyways, um, I'm going to end this now because I, as soon as I end this, I have to get in the car and drive to Austin. We have a meeting with our caterer today, and that's at 1.45, and I live an hour away from there. So um, anyways, I will vlog tomorrow and let you know how day two goes. Bye, guys.